This is Bloomberg West. I'm Emily Chang. Even the Obama administration admits that health care reform will add millions of new patients, stressing the demand for doctors. And that will make it even harder to find one that suits your needs. ZocDoc is a new company that says it can solve that problem. Founded around the same time that health care reform was passed, ZocDoc wants to be a kind of open table for doctor's appointments. Our editor at large, Corey Johnson, sat down with CEO Cyrus Masumi to learn how it works. How do you describe your company? ZocDoc's the easiest online way to find a doctor who accepts your insurance and book an appointment instantly online. Oh my God, that sounds like promo language. It sounds to me like it's like open table for doctors, yes? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Is there something about the healthcare system now that makes this more relevant? You know, I think that one of the things in America is, is there's a growing shortage of doctors in America. So it's going to become even harder to find a doctor. People wait an average of 20 days all throughout the United States to find a doctor. Some states, it's as bad as 50 days. Do you mean to find a primary care physician or beyond that? Be beyond that. Like the average wait times to see a, a physician, primary cares are obviously the most popular. So people are, are waiting long periods of time to find physicians. And, uh, and you mean just to find them, not to actually see them? To, well, to find them and to see them. Okay. And so uh, there's, there's a long period of wait time, and, and what we try to do is, is, is completely cut that time down. People on ZocDoc can see a doctor in the next 24 hours. So with healthcare reform, there's going to be 30 million new patients and no new doctors. And if you look at Massachusetts as a template, people are going to wait even longer to see a doctor. So we're helping combat that. So what's the technology here that makes this possible now or it wasn't before? Well, what we've done is we've integrated to all these different medical practice management systems, of which there's 1,400 across the country. And so you have to integrate to lots of different systems and aggregate all of these times into the Internet so that when there's a last-minute cancellation, you can book that appointment. See, what, what happens is 10 to 20 percent of the time, patients are canceling appointments in the last minute. And we call this the hidden supply of health care. These are the appointments you can't get access to because you're not going to call 100 doctors to find the few that have the open appointments. Versus on our site, you literally, with one, one, one click of a mouse, either on, your, on the web or on our mobile apps, you can find a doctor and book it instantly online. But you said but you can't actually make a doctor's appointment like in a minute like you don't like I need to see a doctor now oh I can be there in 30 seconds well it's true but you can book one for two hours from now three hours from now or if it's after 5 p.m. and the doctor's office is closed you can have the comfort to know that there's a doctor's office open the following morning to see you interesting now what's the revenue model because uh, again I use open tables a comparison but open tables made a lot of money selling their systems to restaurants not not so much with the consumer do you guys sell systems to doctors we don't sell systems what we do is we give them online booking functionality that integrates their existing calendar that they pay for they pay for they pay a subscription Fee of two hundred and fifty dollars per doctor per month, and uh, they can roll that technology out to their existing patients on their own website. They obviously have access to ZocDoc.com. Their appointments are available on all of our mobile platforms, and uh, that's it. Let's go back to the technology. Is there a common sort of language or something that makes this possible that all these different programs are written with, or no? No, and that's that's the hard part. And we spent four years literally building all these integrations, and we've integrated so many different systems now. And we have a team that that's all they focus on, is building more and more of these integrations. Now, I'm sure your team is great, but your investor team is, is also uh, truly some greats. Tell me about some of those people. Sure. Well, uh, of course, Kosla Ventures, Vinod Kosla and his team there led our Series a, uh, the Founders Fund, which is Peter Thiel and his founders, uh, his partners uh, led our Series B. Uh, Jeff Bezos, Mark Benioff are also investors in us, as is uh, Ron Conway with SV Angel. And most recently, uh, Yuri Milner and DST uh, came in, uh, and uh, Goldman Sachs came in as well. So we've got uh, really psyched to have people who have really changed the world behind us and help us change health. Give me a sense of the size of the business right now. What are revenues like? How big is it? What's the growth like? So we're a private company. We don't talk about uh, financial information. I, uh, we don't have secrets. <laughs> yeah, what we, what we do talk about is the number of patients who use the site on a monthly basis and the number of available appointments. So uh, last month we had about 800,000 patients who use ZocDoc to find a doctor, and we had about 5.5 million available appointments in the next 90 days and so we're, uh, we're growing that number very very quickly and uh, is it a regional growth strategy do you sort of say we're gonna be we're gonna do New York we're gonna do Washington DC I don't know what tell yeah. me yeah so it is a regional growth strategy we started in New York we spent two and a half years there and now we're launching a new market every month or so we cover about a third of the US population right now uh, across 14 of the largest cities in America and uh, we just had our most recent launch Seattle last week and we'll be announcing a new launch uh, in the next uh, next week as well so it's uh, it's rolling really quickly now, Corey, with this service, can you actually see particular doctors that you want to see or just doctors who are available? 
uh, just the doctors who are available, and those may or may not be the ones you want to see. I, I, my big takeaway from this, uh, this company is that the healthcare system in America is about to change dramatically when so many more people come into it, and the ability to get appointments and, and see the doctors you want and schedule those appointments uh, will have to change, and a uh, very interesting technological approach to get there. You can see that from the kinds of people who are backing this new company. It's an industry ripe for